This video is brought to you by Skillshare. Click the link in the description for a two month free trial, but more on that later, cause we got a problem. If you're anything like me, you find yourself scrolling through Instagram and you keep seeing those artists who have those pretty looking sketchbooks that are just a little too perfect. You know, you go to their Instagram, even their sketchbooks are pretty. It's just a sketchbook, Debbie. No need to show off. They seem so happy and successful. It's probably because they get thousands of likes. Maybe if you had thousands of likes, you would be happy too, just like them, because we all know that Instagram likes are the metric for happiness and self-worth. Guess you'll be sad forever because you suck at art! What if I told you that you don't have to be a good artist to have a professional looking sketchbook? And what if I told you that you can fool everyone into thinking that you're a really good artist? You wanna know how? By the end of this video, you will know everything there is to be able to make pages that look like this. Here we go. There are five essential things to make your sketchbooks look like these Instagram idiots. Pick a theme, big, medium, small, outline, color coordinating, and color block background. I'll break down exactly how to do each one of those right now. What supplies are we using? Cheap ballpoint pen and three Crayola colored pencils. Orange, green, light brown, that's it. We'll start with number one, pick a theme. Oh no, are you using your sketchbook pages to free your mind and draw whatever your heart desires? Disgraceful, draw plants. No, wait, too broad. Pick the easiest type of plant to draw and just do that for the whole page. Spoiler alert, it's cactus, cacti. Big, medium, small. Now that you know your super exciting theme that you just can't wait to draw, do a couple of big ones, medium ones, and small ones. This will fool people into thinking that you put a lot of time into placing your drawings, just so. But in reality, you're just filling in the empty spots, you dummy. Outline. Once all your drawings are in place, go over them with a darker outline. The bigger drawings will have thicker outlines and the smaller ones will have thinner outlines. Making an outline will trick people into thinking that your drawings were calculated and deliberate, but they won't be able to tell that you just scribbled on the paper, baby. Color coordinating. Use the same color palette for an entire page. Pick two or three colors and color all of the drawings on the entire page with just those. You don't even have to color them well. Just give it a little pop of color. Pop of color. People will see that spot of color and be like, wow, this artist knows exactly where to put the color and where to leave it out. They were very mindful when they placed the color down. You dummy! We were just too lazy to color the whole thing. Color block background. Sketchbook page is done, right? Wrong. You are so stupid if you think we're done. It is not enough to draw boring plants. It is not enough to outline them. And it is not even enough to coordinate the pops of color. If you post it now, you are ignoring the most important thing that all the super cool popular artists do. Put a shape of color behind them. Oh wow, this artist really knows how to make their drawings pop. My eyes feel like they're gonna bleed. It's so beautiful. Stop, stop, wait, stop. Don't put color blocks behind all of them. Only a couple that you really like. If you put the color blocks behind all of them, then none of them will feel special. This is your way to highlight your favorites. So pick three and then go brush your teeth. But these drawings are boring. I don't wanna just draw plants and life studies. I agree, I agree, it's stupid but you're the one who wants to know how to be like these Instagram artists who are so good. You're the one who clicked on this video, so who's the stupid one now? You wanna know how I would use these tips to make a good sketchbook page in my style? That's gonna be my next video. Designing sketchbook pages my way, uh, parentheses, extra spicy, to get that clickbait. So subscribe so that your phone will yell at you when I upload those. By the way, is it just me, or have I been seeing Skillshare pop up as the sponsor for like every other video that I've seen? Well, I can tell you why. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community with video classes, much like the tutorials that you see here on YouTube, except I find that classes on Skillshare tend to be more professional and organized. Don't at me. Skillshare offers classes on all kinds of things like animation, creative writing, film and video, fine art, graphic design, illustration, music, photography, and even marketing and productivity. <gasps> oh, it's so much, you can't even say it all in one breath, but I did. Do I use Skillshare? Oh boy, you bet your britch biz bottoms, I bottom britches I do. Anything by Tom Bancroft is good, but the one I'm doing right now is a watercolor class by Kat Cocolette. Oh, that's such a good name, called Modern Watercolor Techniques Explore Skills to Create On Trend Paintings. Man, that is a mouthful of a title, but I can tell you it's a brain full of a class. It's super organized. 
that it doesn't waste any time and it gets right to the good stuff. It is a good one. The first 500 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a two month free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity, baby. After that, it's only 10 bucks a month, which if you ask a broke joker like me, it's a pretty good deal for full access to all their classes. Don't tell Squidward, but that's less than an in-person class at the rec center. You're teaching art at the rec center. Calm down. I'm cultured trash archer. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And stay in school, you dumb idiot!